Honduran police detained former President Juan Orlando Hernandez on Tuesday, escorted him from his home in handcuffs and chains, following a U.S. extradition request on drug charges that marked a dramatic fall from grace only weeks after Hernandez left power. The United States has asked Honduras to arrest and hand over its former president. Juan Orlando Hernandez has been accused in federal court in New York of receiving money from drug cartels. Hernandez has engaged in significant corruption by committing or facilitating acts of corruption and narco-trafficking. The extradition request said that since 2004, Hernandez allowed tons of cocaine from Venezuela and Colombia to travel through Honduras on its way to the United States, while protecting drug traffickers from investigation in exchange for millions of dollars in bribes. The United States is advancing transparency and accountability in Central America by making public visa restrictions against Honduras' former president, Juan Orlando Hernandez, on account of corrupt actions. Hernandez was repeatedly implicated as a co-conspirator in his brother's 2019 drug trafficking trial by New York prosecutors. The brother Juan Antonio Hernandez was found guilty of drug and weapons charges and sentenced to life in prison. According to the defense of Hernandez, Honduras' Supreme Court, which will decide on the extradition request, met on Tuesday and appointed a justice to oversee the case. The process could take between two and three months.